so let's see uh, the software delivery before and after docker this slide shows how time and money can be saved with the docker concept so life before docker before docker deploying software to different environments required significant effort even if you weren't hand running scripts to provision software on different machines you would still have to wrestle with configuration management tools that manage state on what are increasingly fast moving environments starved of resources even when these efforts were encapsulated in vms virtual machines a lot of time was spent managing deployment of these vms waiting for them to boot and managing the overhead of resource use they created so whereas life with docker with docker the configuration effort is separated from the resource management and the deployment effort is trivial so let's say run docker let's we we have run docker run and the environment's image is pulled down and ready to run so consuming fewer resources and contained so that it does not interfere with other environments you don't need to worry about whether your container is going to be shipped to a red hat machine a ubuntu machine or a centos machine or or uh, or as as long as uh, as long as it has a uh, docker on it it will be good to go so let me make it uh, much simpler let's take one example same thing we need to deploy and static web application in production but before we put into production as we know as we knew that we have to gone through uh, development server testing server staging server and finally we'll go for the production server or live server okay that's the uh, example here so let's begin so without docker what we are going to do is we will first create a dev environment in dev environment we have to install configure and maintain complex applications basically to develop this static code develop this uh, source code and also to cross check whether our application is running or not that's the development environment okay in develop development environment our application is successful and now we want to move it to the test environment now what's going to happen in test environment again we have to provision a new instance or new server or new virtual machine so you have been insta uh, initiated instantiated new virtual machine or new new instance now again you have to install configure and maintain complex application you have to follow the same procedure provisioning then after provisioning you have to configure it after configuring it you have to do whatever operations that you have to do inside that similar to the dev laptop so now again after the test server we got the package absolutely working fine no issues uh, no bugs no vulnerabilities now it's time to move to the production server or live server again you have to provision the server Or, or else you have to instantiate an instance. Then after that you have to configure that. After the configuration, you have to deploy the application and you have to run the servers. You have to run the services inside that. For this application, let's take HTTPD is an example. Or HTTPD is one example that we have considered for this service. So that service uh, should start. Okay. For all those things, again you have to repeat the act. so the same thing you are repeating dev laptop you have done it same test server you will do it same live server you have to do it same so that means three times the effort to manage the deployment to finally deploy the one you have to you are doing the same task three times with a little variations or, or slight modifications so now let's jump into life with docker so 
initial we have we we will instantiate one server we will call it as a docker server and whatever application we want to deploy so that application source code has been uh, taken as well as whatever uh, instructions whatever the activities should be done to do this deployment all the activities will be placed in a docker file as a instructions once you give all the instructions in your docker file that's it your docker image will be right ready and after that once your docker image is built the docker image is nothing but it consists of all the instructions of uh, deploying an application for this example for example let's take a, for this example what's the manual procedure of deploying an application first thing you have write a source code it is in your local machine so you have that source code complete source code uh, repository now you have to enter inside your production server and inside the production server you have to install let's consider this is a static web page so i would say httpd service i have to install i have installed the httpd service then i will fetch all the source code and then i will place it into a where dub 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 html directory once all the the application that you want to deploy is placed inside the uh, specific directory that where lib dub 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 html directory then you start your httpd service once httpd service is started and source code is placed inside the, the specific directory then that's all your deployment is done so these are it consists of a different activities we have around eight activities eight actions to be done for that so what will we do is in docker image we will write all these actions as a instructions in a docker file once it is written we will build that file so we will get a docker image once you are once you got a docker image now it is cakewalk so now you want to do it you you want to test it in a dev environment you just pull the image and run the container that's it game over if you want to do it in test server pull the image run the container game over if you want to do it in production server pull the image run the container you have to give simple docker run command docker run command docker run command and uh, specify the image name that's it so what's happening here a single effort to manage deployment i think it's pretty clear for you if you take a docker how much benefit you can get how many resources you can save 